Metro Vancouver is a beautiful region in a spectacular setting. It's considered one of the most livable regions in the world. There's 22 different municipalities that form part of the Greater Vancouver Region and TransLink as an organization is officially known as the South Coast BC Transportation Authority. We look after the entire public transit system throughout the region which includes buses, SkyTrain, C-Bus, West Coast Express. TransLake took it upon itself to develop a regional cycling strategy in consultation with all of our municipal partners and we put together a strategy that is providing high level direction to all of those stakeholders and municipalities in terms of how they can better contribute to improving or increasing the level of cycling in the region. We have to reduce our carbon footprint. We have to have better ways of moving us around and reducing the amount of carbon we're putting in the atmosphere. And transit, walking, and cycling address that in so many ways. We want to encourage people as much as possible to leave their car at home and take public transit where it's convenient. And if they can, also try to cycle or walk to where they need to go in the destinations. All of the sustainable modes of transport, walking, cycling, and transit all support each other. And when you have robust networks for each one of these modes of transport, they all help to increase the other ones. We allow bicycles on our entire public transit system. We have bicycle racks on every single one of our buses. We allow bikes onto the SkyTrain and the West Coast Express and the C-Bus as well. The SkyTrain is our elevated rapid transit system. I have the option of biking and taking transit in the morning. So in the mornings I don't want to get sweaty. I want to arrive at work in my work clothes so the bike route that I take goes right by the station and I'm pretty much I go into the station up the elevator on the platform and same way down it's actually been pretty convenient on the way back I often just ride home I'm not worried about getting sweaty or looking good when I get home so it's a lot easier to just ride home it helps me clear my head and I feel good by the time I get home I've got my workout too I'm with my friends today and we're going to go bike ride around Gravel Island and I've got my bike with me and they're going to rent some bikes today. The best potential for, for combining is, is trains and bikes because trains have really competitive travel time and if you add in the bike you have a lot of flexibility in both ends of the trip. I take the bike from my home about four kilometers that way, lock it up here, put my helmet and my bike in there and then just hop on the train here and ride downtown. It's about a 30, 30 minute commute on the train, so it would be much too far for me to go by bike. I commute every day from my home to the station, park at the locker, and then take the train to the office. I save gas, I don't have to have an extra car. There are lots of traffic jams where I go, so I avoid all of that, and I'm healthy. We do have an issue with bike theft in our region, and so TransLink provides bicycle racks for short-term use, as well as bicycle lockers. By keeping my bike in a secure locker, I don't feel worried that people are gonna steal my bike if I leave it locked up all day. You have access to a lot of options of combining. In fact, you have access to more options of combining than you have in Copenhagen. Here you can also combine the bus and the bicycle, and we don't provide that option in, in Copenhagen. TransLink has been providing good connections for cyclists for many years. It started back in the early 90s, and we were experimenting with putting bike racks on buses. It's happened a couple of times where it's nice in the morning and then it's raining in the afternoon when I come home, but uh, the buses have these nice bike racks on the front, and you can just throw the bike on there and I just go home that way. The C-Bus is a passenger ferry that goes between downtown Vancouver and the city of North Vancouver, which is a dense suburb on the North Shore. In our city, the city of North Vancouver, we're very well served by public transit. The heart of our city is the C-Bus, and it's run by TransLink, and it's an amazing way to get from the city of North Vancouver to Vancouver in a very short period of time, and it's very popular. I stay warm and dry, I sit back, I relax, I watch the city skyline fade out behind me and let someone else drive. We meet at the sea bus and cycle over town. We went around Coal Harbor, had a nice lunch, and then we cycle back again. I use the sea bus quite often, and 
think it's very good service. It's critical that we give people options and alternatives. And we're finding if we do safe, reliable bike routes that more people are making the decision not just to ride in the summertime, but ride all year round. TransLink is looking for ways in which it can connect more people to the transit system and provide cycling facilities throughout the region, whether it's in a dense urban environment or whether it's in a more rural or suburban environment. As a regional transportation authority, we have a goal that by 2040, at least 50% of all trips in the region will be by walking, cycling, and public transit. And we know that walking and cycling are key to linking to public transit. So when you have good walking and cycling networks, that gives people great alternatives for getting to the public transit system.